reviews. Everything everywhere all at once. Profoundly deep, genuinely moving, utterly hilarious, highly imaginative and a visual feast. Haven't laughed this hard, cried this much or thought so deeply about any film in 2022 much less all in the same viewing. This was indeed everything, everywhere all at once. I have trouble turning off my brain. Anxieties, worries, mundane to dose, even positive things, sometimes feel like they're swirling around in a chaotic funnel cloud and I would like nothing more than to sit in physical and mental silence. Everything everywhere all at once, felt like the inside of my head. In a world of non-stop, 24-7 news, most of it is bad. How is a person like me, who has trouble filtering out things that affect me directly from all of the other things that are just out there happening in general and over which I have no control, supposed to cope? One answer is to decide that nothing matters anyway and give up caring. But that means deciding that my wife doesn't matter. And that my kids don't matter. And that art, and nature, and things that bring joy to my life, don't matter. Another way is to decide that some things, okay maybe most things, don't matter, but that there are things that do, and those are the things that make it all worth it. I get to decide what those things are. The first approach is nihilistic. The second approach is empowering. This film explores both approaches, and I was a sobbing mess at the end. I will say there were times that I was a bit exhausted by this movie. It throws a lot on the screen and at the viewer, and occasionally it can't keep up with its ambitions. But this was mostly a home run. Michelle Yeoh does terrific work in this, but the MVP is K. Hoi Kwan, short round from the Indiana Jones movies, grade A.